I dedicate this video to all my stud muffins out there. I feel like that a lot of you fellas are gonna find this video very, very valuable. You got a ton of valuable advice. Like the video if you love your mama, guys. Let's get down to it. Shout out to Man Talk. Roll it. Let's I made a pretty bold statement a while ago saying that I refuse to be friends with ugly people and none of my friends are ugly. And if your friends didn't make friends with ugly people, you'd have no friends. <laughs> Facts, 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 facts. That's crazy. I love men. I respect men. I spend my entire life fighting for men. But I have to be honest. I'm sick and tired of hearing men complain about their height holding them back. For sure. Does that mean you can't dress well? Build muscle? Groom yourself? Be funny? Be ambitious? Those are incredibly attractive traits. You know what isn't? Complaining and quitting because things are a little tougher. Guys, I'm serious. I love all of you. But the complaining about something you have zero control over... You love all of us? Nah, man, that gotta be kept. But so far, she in line, though. Where my short kings at, though? I'm 5'7". Nobody say short. Nobody say short. Where my short kings at, though? <laughs> Salute to my short kings, man. Shout out to my short kings out. But so far, she in line, though. So what's the catch? Let's see. Never has to stop. If you followed me for a while, you know what you have to do to increase your value. Start doing it. A few moments later. Uh -oh. I'm really tired of short incels. There, I'm a guy. There we go. Bumbaka. Yeah, I was like, okay, so it's in a YouTube video, so there's gotta be a catch somewhere because in the beginning, like, she was not lying though. I, I do agree with, like, taking care of yourselves, man. Do 100 push ups right now. You know, do 100 push ups right now. But there you have it. Guy who's 6'2 as a five foot woman. Months later. I'm really tired of short incels. I'm dating a guy who's 6'2 as a five foot woman. Oh, there's a big surprise! You know, I'm six foot one, and this whole trend of short women only dating tall dudes is extremely cringe to me. It's kinda like broke women only wanting to date rich men. <laughs> attacked and called a hypocrite for doing so because apparently being five foot i'm obligated to reject my boyfriend and reserve myself for the shorter men that have it rough in the dating world let me clear something up for those that believe this if a tall guy pursues me and i want to date him i am under zero obligation to sacrifice my opportunity to do so because i owe opportunities to shorter men now let's put that through our adeptus mechanica certified womanese translator cogitating yeah, you insoles need to stop calling me out on my bullshit. Mm. Your only job is to watch my videos and create engagements so I can make money by feeding you false hope that you can get a girl like me. Even though in the real world... Man, whatever happened to like just finding like a partner that's good to you or that's like a man or a chick that's good to you, right? Like that's a good person regardless of their like height, right? Like for example. Damn, man, that's that's crazy, though. That is crazy, man. I personally never acknowledge your existence. Now, I get it, though. Looks... Bruh. Yeah, I get it, though. Looks do matter, though. Like, somebody that says that looks don't matter, they lying, though. Maybe for the tiny 1% that don't matter, and that's good, man. If you're in that phase, man, good for you, though. But generally speaking, most people do care for it. Uh, that's how the mafia works. That's how the world works. Bruh. I've watched my following shrink over the past year. And you greet this as revelation. Yeah, because, because they followers realize. tend to do that when they feel grifted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not alone, yeah. know this. Hey, huh? hey, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on out here, man? What's going on? Yeah, followers tend to do that, man. Followers tend to do that. Like and subscribe, guys. Welcome on in, man. Welcome Woman, including in. myself, we tend to get a little self-conscious, you could say, the first time you guys go down south. <laughs> If you know what I mean? Because in our head, we're thinking, like, do we smell bad? Probably. Is it pretty? Probably not. We can kind of spiral in our heads sometimes. And I'm genuinely curious, like, what are men thinking the first time they go down south? Well, sweetie, considering you make a living on that website that starts with only, what we see when we go down south is a box that pretty much resembles the southern border. What? As in, wide open, wrecked almost beyond repair, oh, and man. constantly taking in men who really shouldn't be there. Oh! Facts, facts, facts. Oh! Ew! Dude! What man. the f- It's sad, isn't it? Man, just say no to OnlyFans chicks, bro. Like, I, I, bro, it's never gonna end well. It rarely ban DNA test now. What? Nah, man, hell nah, hell nah! DNA tests should be mandatory though. Like the video if you agree, bro. N never, never date a chick that does OnlyFans, okay? Like, uh, it's not gonna end well. It's not gonna end well. You're gonna get dumped for somebody else.
later on, you know? If not today, then tomorrow. Actual facts are that women who do not have children and are not married live longer than women who are married with children. They earn more money, they are healthier, less likely to report themselves depressed and anxious, and more satisfied than yeah. women who are married with children. Lies. So the Lies. opposite is true of men, that married men do not outperform single men. Mm. Lies. And the reason for that is that women pour their lives into their partners. And so they literally exchange literal years of their life by pouring into their partner uplifting their partner who will then thrive and succeed and prosper and the woman will wilt in the giving what you just said Lies. is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard at no point in your rambling incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought everyone in this room is now dumber for having <laughs> listened to it i award you no points and may God have mercy. Minus 10 points for Gryffindor, absolutely. On your soul. But ladies, don't worry your pretty little heads. You won't have to wither away in the giving anymore because Elon Musk solved your problem. In a video, Optimus was shown performing tasks that would typically be handled by humans. And, and the price of this thing, they announced, I, I was watching it, right? Like twenty to $30,000, right? And if it works the way they're advertising, well, uh, it's gonna solve a whole lot of many problems. A whole lot of many problems, right? Yeah. But still though, like, we're really going towards a dystopian future. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. But sadly, it'll be what it be. It'll be what it be. The the dating scene is kind of tough right now here. You know what I mean? So because you're finding like all the delusional uh, women out here. That that's crazy, man. That is crazy. I'm I'm sure like the good ones do exist. The good ones do exist. They're probably not on the internet. They're probably not on the internet. That's that's the thing though. Or they are on the internet. What am I saying? But they're not like doing OnlyFans or going crazy like this woman on the TikToks, right? like carrying a package inside from the porch and even watering plants. During the presentation, Elon Musk emphasized just how integrated these robots could become in everyday life, saying, the Optimus will walk amongst you. According to him, you could walk right up to them and they would serve drinks or help out in various ways. Musk further elaborated that the Optimus robot could practically do anything, including oh, wow. walking your dog, babysitting, or mowing the oh, lawn. Wow. As thousand and thirty thousand dollars in the long run. So within a few years, Terminator, Terminator, Terminator. Imagine Bruh. though, right? Imagine the future. So Imagine within though. a few years, all of those nasty men you're talking about will have robots to do the domestic labor instead of wives, and in a few more years. Mm. Okay, jokingly, that sounds funny, but, like, I don't want that kind of future. I mean, but but that's what happens when, like, you got women like these that are so delusional, then men are, all, of course, going to be opting out for, like, a different, for an alternate option, right? I don't like the dystopian future, though, you know, you feel what I'm saying? I don't mind the robot, though, but when a robot is just going to replace that human emotion and human connection, that's the part that I don't like it, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't mind the robots, so I guess this is the technology that we're gonna go uh, after, and this is the technology that's gonna become normal. It's gonna be normalized, as already is. I guess the idea of it is already normalized, people already expect it, and it's coming, it's gonna come, and it's gonna be part of our daily lives, but don't like the part of uh, this uh, replacing the actual human connection and experience though but it'd be what they'll it'd be. have robots with female anatomy to do the bedroom labor instead of wives now considering that a robot costs around thirty thousand dollars and let's say two thousand dollars a year in maintenance compared to the hundreds of thousands of dollars it yeah. costs to support a wife even after she divorces you i think there's a very high chance that wives could go the way of the floppy disk. Oh man, okay, bro. Like, come on with that, man. Like, I, I get it though, but like, damn, man. That that's kind of kind of crazy. But guys, check out this video on the screen. If you have not seen it, whole lot of delusion going on in this one. Check it out, and I'll see you right there.